Scientists are beginning the first round of clinical trials for an Ebola vaccine, and they're relying on human volunteers. This is the standoff continues between the governor of Maine and a nurse who's refusing to stay in quarantine. Rachel Scher has the latest on the fight against Ebola. Rachel. Good evening, Morris. Casey Hickox is defying the state's request to stay quarantined for the full 21 days. She's twice tested negative for the virus after treating Ebola patients in West Africa. And now the governor of Maine says she's testing his patients. Casey Hickox takes a leisurely bike ride with her boyfriend near her home in northern Maine, where she's become the poster child of defiance. Waiting to hear from the state of Maine to see what they want to do. I hope that we can continue negotiations and work this out amicably. But the governor of Maine says those negotiations have failed and the mandatory quarantine is still in place. I don't want her within three feet of anybody. Let's put it this way. I am going to use the legal provisions to the fullest extent that the law allows me. In Maryland, the fight is for a cure. Scientists at the National Institutes of Health say they're testing a possible vaccine on roughly two dozen volunteers and expect to know whether it's effective by November. And then by December or January, we're going to go in a much larger trial in West Africa to see if it works. In Switzerland, this medical student is one of 120 volunteers taking part in the largest human trial for an Ebola vaccine. I feel very safe about this. A lot of people told me, but there are so many risks. Don't you feel like uh, y you could get sick because of the vaccine? But this is not how I feel. And there are a lot of people who could uh, who could benefit from it. We're also getting our first look at Dulles International Airport's screening room for travelers coming from Ebola's hot zone. They'll be checked out in a private area with workers using protective gear and no touch thermometers. According to the World Health Organization, of the 13,000 confirmed cases of Ebola, only 27 are outside of West Africa. Scientists are calling it an epidemic of fear. To this day, two people have gotten infected in the United States of America. And you may remember more than 1,000 Department of Defense employees are fighting Ebola in West Africa. The Pentagon held a briefing on their progress today. Secretary Chuck Hagel says they're expected to finish building the first of 17 Ebola treatment units by the end of this week and continue their work through the holidays. Live in the newsroom, I'm Rachel Scher, News Channel 8. All right, thanks, Rachel, for that report.